many diseases that we have are caused by microbes. So microbes but can be viruses, fungi, bacteria, and now, no, nowadays, we have quite good medicine to treat them. For example, uh, in certain cases of pneumonia, you can use antibiotics, and, and then this, this treats very well the patient. But what is happening is that as we are using these antibiotics, these antimicrobials, the microbes adapt. And, uh, and first, they need a little bit more of it, and, and finally, they escape completely, and they become what we call resistant. This is a problem which has been developing over decades. It's going to endanger um, our ability to take care of people in health systems. It's going to endanger our ability to uh, sustain our food supply. And it's going to really uh, endanger our ability to continue development in the world. Taken together, this is a major social challenge. The public has clearly an important role to do. One is not to request uh, a health worker to, or a doctor to give them antibiotics without any uh, evidence that there is a need for antibiotics. If you come to a practitioner and you say, I have a runny nose, give me antibiotics. Well, first, the health practitioner, the doctor, should say, well, no, you don't need an antibiotic because most of the time it will be a virus and not a bacterium. So the public shouldn't insist of getting antibiotics. So this is about getting it. So when you have got antibiotics, what you should do is finish as much of the, of the tablet that you have that has been prescribed by the doctor. Not stop before, not continue after. If you have leftover tablets, you should not give it to somebody else because this is another disease and it will, uh, what you have may not be adapted. And then you have hygiene measures. You should wash your hands so that you don't, you know, you don't infect yourself or you infect others. You should practice safer sex. Uh, you should try to eat uh, proper food without infection. So there is a lot that the public can do to reduce the spread and the threat, actually, of antimicrobial resistance on public health. For most people, they've never heard of antimicrobial resistance or AMR, and so they'll be confused that why are we even addressing it. So I think that until we get people understanding that this is a major issue, and it's a major issue which they have some role to play, but also that it will possibly harm them on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it's going to be difficult to deal with, uh, with really turning it backwards. And so it's probably the most fundamental issue right now.